today is a dollar day haul so if you want to see what I picked up for a dollar stay tuned everyone it's Stephanie with three Queens resale and if you're new to my channel thank you so much for joining me and if you're returning thanks for coming back it does mean a lot to me as I work on getting better at YouTube for those of you who are new as my title would indicate I am a part-time reseller I'm a full-time middle school teacher and a mom of two and a wife I do enjoy reselling and I am headed into wrapping up my second year as a reseller um, in November it will be the start of year three that I've been reselling so uh, that's about me so today I am going to share with you 15 items that I got on dollar day now dollar day here in central Indiana is on Sunday so the color of the week, which is 50% all week on Sunday, goes down to a dollar. So it's pretty picked over by the time it gets down to a dollar. And I've switched to kind of using this strategy of sourcing on Sundays for several reasons. Since I work full time and I have kids who have practice and I got to cook and be a mom and all that, um, sourcing during the week was extremely difficult. And so Sunday, I can kind of carve out a little bit of time that I can uh, go sourcing and find things for a dollar. Now, if I see other things, if I see other things that are more than a dollar, of course, I go ahead and pick those up as well. But um, focusing on going on Sunday, it allows me to get some inventory relatively inexpensive and keep listing so I am going to share with you today what I picked up and I've already looked up comps and um, my goal is to have things um, that can list for at least $20 um, hopefully more if I buy it for a dollar if it's more than a dollar then of course I'm hoping to get more for it so I am going to get started so first off, I'm going to start with my only accessory, and it's this F. Bandolino burgundy patent leather purse. Um, it's got a nice strap. Oh, that does not have it. It's a snap open. It's pretty clean inside. It has a zipper pocket and some card slots in there. So yeah, pick that up. Next up. And I'm expecting to get anywhere from 20 to 30 for that. Um, some of them were listed a little bit more, but I think people were reaching. You can list stuff for anything, but is it going to sell? Next up is this Banana Republic um, Navy cardigan with pockets. Now, this is a much older sweater. The tag says 2013. Um, but it's in really good condition. And uh, I just really liked it. And like I said, it was a dollar and it is my size and something I would wear. So if it does not sell, I can wear it myself. But 20 to 25 for that, I'm expecting. Next up, every time I get this brand, it does sell. Um, I've never had a linen one. But this is a, and I didn't button it all the way down, a Foxcroft linen fitted um three-quarter sleeve button-down collar top and um, it's a size 6 petite when I looked up comps I found this exact top listed quite a bit so somewhere between 20 to 25 um, I might have to sit on that until the spring again and then what else do we got I'm reaching here <coughs> okay so this is one of my favorite brands but it doesn't resell for much. These are philosophy, and these are extra large, just basic black knit pants. Um, no pockets or anything. Um, they're a little loose to be, I guess, considered leggings, but they are just a navy knit pant, size extra large. And the comps were between 15 and 20 for these. 
Um, I probably will pad all of my prices just a tad on these, but to allow room for offers. And these are inside out because I was looking for a style number. So these are Ann Taylor Petite, size 6, just a gray um, spandex polyester blend career pant um, with pockets on the back, belt loops, all the basic goodness. And once again, 20 to 25 for these. And then Chico's. Now, don't sleep on Chico's, people. Um, these are all pretty much... Um, oh, there's a, I don't know, I thought there was a snack. Um, bread and butter items. And I don't think the light is really, the light isn't really picking up. But this is kind of like a pea, let me see, pea green. Hmm. Does it help it a little bit? No. Well, the um, light is washing it out a little bit. But this is a green top button down. It's tunic length um just a nice chico's piece uh size three i'm expecting for that the again the 20 25 dollar range and like i said all these items were a dollar so anytime i can spend a dollar and make 20 um so basically after you uh take out the fees you know you're 15 dollars out of a dollar it's not a bad thing, especially since I'm a part-time reseller. And even though I am part-time, I try to work on volume. Since I cannot get the high-end designer things all the time, I do have some of those pieces. But my strategy is just to kind of fill my closet with nice staple pieces and just kind of flip through things um, relatively quickly. Next up, I found this skirt to be very, it's in very good condition, and it's got this cute um, pleat on the side. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a black and floral, and a black and red with a white kind of floral print on it, and it's an Ann Taylor loft, size 14, so a little bit bigger size, and what am I expecting for that? Uh, once again, 20 to 25 dollars um next step are these gap maternity pants now i i have kind of had sworn off maternity because i had a lot of maternity maternity and then i sent it all to thread up so and it sold so these since thread up is backed up i'm going to go ahead and list them but these are maternity pants with belt loops which you hardly ever see. They have great pockets and they have a flare kind of like bell bottom hem, which is kind of in right now. So I thought these are kind of trendy enough that I can list them. They're a size four regular and they have lots of stretch. So we'll just give them a whirl and then we maybe by the time if I have requested like three other bags from thread up and they've never sent them and then the six bags that i've sent in are all processing so if they haven't sold by the time thread up starts allowing you to send it things in which might be like 20.99 um then i will send them in but it could be a while i'm just saying next up are these j crew stretch um these are size 30 um length 32 and i think this is um, the men's chino i'm gonna have to look this up because when i looked it up in women's i didn't find anything but it just seems like it's a i don't know leave me a comment down below if you know if the button if you button on the right or I think it's the right I don't know leave me a comment down below if you know which way how to tell if a pant unless it says it in there is a men's pant based on where the button is how you button I feel like the woman has to use right over left I'm wearing leggings right now otherwise I would check it out but anyway just a nice um 
chino type pant and I will have to find out if but those are really skinny so maybe they are for a woman I got them out of the woman's section so I don't really ever go in the men's section unless I have a lot of time then also another pair of J Crew. Oh, for those that pair of J Crew, um, probably if they're men's thirty to thirty-five, if they're women women's twenty-five to thirty. And then these are a size six short. So whenever um, I can find jeans that are short or petite, because little people need jeans too. And also I'm. Oh, I thought there was money in there. I was about to get excited. Um, I am 5'4", so I have short legs. And so sometimes it just works better, like average pants are too long. Um, so not just petite people need short pants, but even regular short people like myself need short pants. So, yeah, I thought those... 20 to 30, there was a wild range of comps there so I guess it's, hopefully I'll get lucky um, another pair of Ann Taylor pants these um, nice career pant I really like the back pockets and then oh, the light is too close to me let's see let's bring it back a little bit and then we have the front, just a flat front, nice belt loops, pockets. And these are a size 10 petite. And I'm hoping to get uh, somewhere 16, 8, well, 18 to 25 range. And then these are Ellie Tahari shorts. And the comps looked really pretty decent for shorts. Um, now, I'm not probably expecting to sell until spring break time, but nice walking shorts, um, 30 to 35 for those. And then, so basically everything that I got was kind of bread and butterish. but the very first thing that I got when I walked in, amazing, wait for it. Well, you don't have to wait for it because you saw it in my photo, in my cover photo. This two-piece nylon 80s jumpsuit. So here is the pants. They have a drawstring waist. They are lined and they are size medium. So size medium on those, although this is really baggy. I'm going to have to take good measurements because a medium, I feel like these are like super big. But I think they would be worn baggy in the 80s. And then I also have the jacket. Okay. Yes. I know. You're jealous. You too can have this. Just check out my Poshmark photo. Okay. But what's so amazing about this jacket. Let me show you where the fun begins. Is that it is reversible. get it all situated for you it's reversible and it is one size fits all says on the jacket now as a wider girl I don't believe in one size fits all that stands for one size fits small so I will take measurements but I just thought this was like for a dollar for both pieces like just an awesome fine and a good way to round out my haul so um, and I'm expecting, when I looked up comps, um, and the brand is Kristen Page Sportswear, it does have a rip in the side of the jacket, which I am going to stitch up. And I normally do not repair things, but since I feel like this is such a unique item, it might be worth, it's worth my effort, and the comps um, work all over the place like some people had them listed at 105 some people had them listed for 25 so I'm gonna start somewhere in the middle and hope for between 50 and 75 and that is my haul folks so 
Um, if you like this video and would like to see more Dollar Day finds, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I do try to produce um, a video every uh, three days or so, so I am really trying to put more effort into YouTube and share more of my part-time reseller um, experience with the YouTube and the reselling community. If you are interested in learning more about reselling, be sure to subscribe. I, Like I said, we'll have videos two to three times a week. And you can go back and see my back catalog of videos. And definitely watch those. Give me the thumbs up. Leave me comments. I love feedback. And I love working on improving. And so until next time, bye.